Okay, so now we have our number line. And our number line is going to look a lot like our picture. Okay, so on the front, what we were doing is we were taking one half of the ribbon, we were dividing it into three equal pieces to determine the amount of each in reference to the whole foot. So our number line, when I look at it, it starts with zero. It's going to go to the whole, to the number one. And so this number one represents one foot. Okay. Go ahead and label that. I started with a half. So I started with this much. And I'm very lightly shading that. I wouldn't shade that a whole lot. Okay. And what do I want to do with this half that's represented? I want to divide it into three equal pieces. I want to divide it into three equal pieces. So this would be one, this would be two, this would be three. Now remember, when I uncover, I have a whole section that is, hasn't been divided. So what do I have to do to the other part of my number line? Well, I have to divide it the same amount. So the other half, we're going to divide it into three pieces. So I'm going to cut it as well. So that makes number four, that makes number five, and of course, this makes number six. So since there's six total pieces, my denominator is going to be six. And remember, we want to know what one piece is worth. So one piece would be one part of the whole foot. And so that answer is going to end up being one six of the total. One six of the total. Total foot. Okay. Great. So yours should look like mine. And so my thinking is that Sherry had a half a foot of ribbon. Remember, that's what she started with. You always want to start with your total when you're dividing. She cut the ribbon into three equal pieces. And when she cut it into three equal pieces, each piece is one-sixth of a foot. One-sixth of the whole foot. So when the fraction one-half is partitioned into three equal pieces, each piece is one-sixth of the whole. Awesome. So what are some things that you see that are alike? Right now I want you to pause your video and I want you to think about some things that are alike. Think about what did we do with the Play-Doh? What did we do with our representation picture? And what did we do with our number line? What are the things that you're seeing? So hopefully you were able to write down some things. And so they were um, all the models were cut in half. So all represent one whole cut in half first. So a half was represented. We cut the half into thirds. But then we had to extend that into, we cut both sides.
to get one sixth of one whole foot. Okay? And if there are other things that you can think of, you are welcome to jot those down. All right. So the next thing that we're going to be doing today is we're going to have a small window pane. So at this time, I want you to look over your work, and I'll see you back for the next video so that we can talk about that window pane, the representation, the number line, and what that equation looks like again.